YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, <clears throat> Mike Martin's channel. I'm just here at the beach with the family. Uh, hopefully I put up a video of it and then forget to do it. But I'm just here chilling out. We're about, about a 15, 20 minute, not even 20 minute drive from home. And look at that. Um, a couple of friends have already asked me to bike ride here. Okay, it's not that far. And I, I might do it when it's a bit cooler. Because right now it's it's just too hot. It's like 30, 33, 34 uh, Celsius. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I want to send a big shout out to my man Mario DeSettis. I want to send a shout out to Form of Fist Network. I want to send a shout out to uh, uh, Anthony Walking Journey. I watch their channels all the time. Check out their channels. Pretty cool guys. Anyways. The flip flop situation. I'm your friend. What happened to you? Why aren't you returning my call situation? When is this going to happen? Anyways. I'm going to tell you when this is going to happen. With the uh, expected rate hikes happening right now. In uh, Canada, they're looking at a couple of more rate hikes, uh, another two more, or four more scheduled, depending on where things sit in the first quarter of uh, 2019. Okay, so we got to wait for that. But there is another scheduled rate hike, hope hopefully for this year, to start getting everything back on track. Before we know it, if we don't do this, our money will be severely devalued through inflation. And that's something that we need to hedge against. And in raising interest rate usually is the best remedy in a basic economy when you're just going through basics. It's just raise interest rates, right? And, okay. What am I talking about earlier? What was I saying? This long rant. What was it? When is your real estate agent going to stop being your friend and then start going on to the right side? Okay. I just see a lot of real estate agents flipping from... Oh, the market's going to keep going up. Bye, bye, bye. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And then, boom, that whole sect of people fall off. And then three months go by, and I'm thinking April of 19, 2019. Oh, it's a great time to buy now. Prices have gone down. Look, they've gone down 10, 20, 30%. Oh, my goodness. Interest, interest rates are going up, but prices are going down. So it puts the payment kind of balanced because if, if rates go up, prices go down, and the affordability stays with intact, right? So if rates go even further up, prices will even go further down because affordability needs to be there. And if the middle class isn't buying, guess what? Nobody's going to be nobody's going to be buying into the market and people are going to be fleeing the big cities like everyone in Sydney is heading west. Wagons west. Start building cities and metropolises and, and, and start building dams and reservoirs and, and, and electricity and, and, and you know, keeping your identity or whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Wow, the floor is really hot here. Same thing with Toronto. Everyone leaving to the GTA, into the GTA, and then the GTA, everyone's leaving that and going to Kitchener, Waterloo, and way out of the GTA area. But you know what? To be really frank with you, the people that did that, if they bought at the right time, they're doing okay. So if prices do dip, they're not that hurt because they didn't pay that much, right? It's the people that pay $2 million for a teardown are the ones that are going to be suffering. Unless they have a couple of hundred million dollars to tear all those teardowns down and start building like like townhomes or, or low-rise condos, right? But that's another story for another day. When is your real estate agent going to become... I have a list of all these people that couldn't afford to buy before. Thousands of them. They keep lists, right? Now I'm going to call them all and let them know that the market went down 30%. So when are you going to see the flip side of the real estate agents? First, you got those real estate agents that are telling you that it's going to keep going up and they're preaching that it's going to keep going up. And if you don't buy now, you'll never afford to buy or you'll never be able to buy. And this is the last generation. Now that rates are going up and, and, and prices are tapering and prices are going down and a lot of people are underwater. I see it April 2019, a lot of real estate agents that are going to go off these call lists that they had. And start going one by one saying, hey, remember we saw that house and your 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 average price or the average you were looking to spend was this much? Well, I have some good news for you. Prices went down 20%, 30%. Wait a minute. You told me they were going to keep going up. And if we didn't buy, we would be bought out. So we left the city and we bought somewhere else. Oh. So when are we going to see the flip side of agents? I already see a couple of agents now that were preaching... Um, Prices will keep going up by now or you're forever bought out or forever hold your peace. And now I'm seeing them advertising down 12%, reduced three times. Um, this is a must-buy. Uh, motivated seller. 
Oh, I love, I love, guys. I love motivated seller. I love motivated seller. Motivated seller. I love that. that that's that's such a good selling feature. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, when are you going to see the flip side of agents? That's what I wanted to know. I've been thinking about that for a couple of weeks now. Now that that uh, prices are going to start tapering and markets are going to start slowing, markets have already slowed down. So your people are getting deals now, or 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 you're going to start seeing. You're not seeing foreclosures yet in like Sydney and, and Melbourne. You're not seeing for too many foreclosures yet in Toronto, um, even in Vancouver. It's the they're keeping it really quiet right now. But with the uh, I spoke to an appraiser that appraises for the banks. I'm not going to say which bank, and he's been appraising. Anywhere from 8 to 11 properties per day uh, of foreclosures for the banks. So that's been on, on lockdown. And I, I try. I want to get him on my show, but he just doesn't – he he doesn't want to seem like he's a trader. He wants to help us or people that, you know, that eventually want to buy in the market one day. But he doesn't want to seem like he's a trader either. Like not a trader, but – he wants to re remain low key, is what I'm saying. So, in your co in the comments below, like guys, I like to know: Has your former real estate agent started to flip? If you bought, and you were told you were it's going to keep going up, or or are they still sticking to the trend that it's going to keep going up? Housing has um, how do you say uh, plateaued, and it's going to streamline, and it's going to that's the correction right there. That's what happened so far. Is this this is the correction? You see quarter percent interest rates go up in, in Canada and everyone freaks out. And people are already $190 more or $70, $150 more a month that they can't afford to pay. So why did they get into these predicaments? Food isn't free. The banks need to, I'm going to keep saying this, and then someone finally is going to say it that's in the higher position. The banks need to add food into the total debt service ratio calculation with the... With the um, loan application they need to put food because the average person spends 30 okay families maybe 60 bucks a day 50 bucks a day on food per family for family you spend money on food food isn't free and he says let's say 40 bucks a day okay that's a lot of money okay i mean that's no that's not a lot of money that's a lot of that's not a lot of food for 40 bucks a day so let's say 40 bucks a day okay 10 days that's four that's 400 bucks 20 a day, that's 800 bucks. 30 days, you're at 1200 bucks for food. So they need to factor in food into the equation whether or not you could afford to buy because food isn't coming from heaven. And a lot of banks expect you to buy food on credit and then pay it back later when you can. And I think that's not, that's a really bad financial advice to give to people. Anyways, I'm not giving any advice. I'm just telling you guys what I'm seeing in the forefront. And I'm asking you guys, when is your real estate agent going to start flipping and play the other card and say, hey, 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 prices are down 30% or 10%, 20%, reductions here, motivated seller. Anyways, guys, Mike Martin's here, enjoying the time with my wife and kids here at this beautiful place, 12 minutes from our house. Look at that view behind me. I'm going to spend most of my day here. Ah, relax, enjoy a coffee. Let me know, motivated seller, comment below.